All right. <laughs> <laughs> We're live. Shit. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to the Tavern Podcast. I'm the host, Sam. I'm joined here with Ebbs. I'm also joined here with Dale. And our special guest, uh, emphasis on special, it's Matt. Good. It's I'm autistic. <laughs> oh, my God. You, I mean, you are. Yeah. You are. <laughs> Welcome, Matt. Uh, we've also... Uh, Josh has ordered us that we uh, we we got delivered this this product and now um, it's it's uh, sparkling water that looks like beer and he's ordered us that we have to drink this on podcast. There's no there's no uh, there's yeah, no rules right. about it, so we we have to drink these. Um, we're not enjoying them at all. No, we are. Uh, They're so, really good, uh, actually. Yeah, they are actually good, isn't they? It's called Liquid Death, and it's uh, sparkling water. Still Ebbs has still water. Mm. We're, we're so missing yeah, we're one. We're that. missing a flavor. Uh, no. We, oh, no, no. No, you have the lime there's sparkling, and the mango. There's still, which the sparkling one, the normal, normal sparkling. sparkling we don't have. Yeah. 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 It's there, the, there's the still one. It's, yeah, the black one. It's a black one. And then we have lime and we have mango. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to stay like this whole podcast. Just the entire <laughs> time. <laughs> just good but enough, yes, Josh. We, uh, we have that. We're... um. <laughs> Tried the mango chainsaw last night. Yeah, they have really edgy names. So the mango one's called Mango Chainsaw. Oh, I didn't notice the names. Yeah. What's oh, the lime one, mate? Severed lime. Yeah, I know. Eh. We had Dale's wife yesterday going, what's severed, mate? She's like, why is it a lime? And we're like, I don't know. It's just cool. What's just cool called? names. Just <laughs> mountain water. Oh. The most hardcore of them all. Yeah, Why mountain water. water. What's yeah. the black one? Isn't there a melon flavor called Convicted Melon? Okay, I yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, the black one. one's called Sparkle. I, I like oh. that, but we didn't get a scent it. Yeah, we so didn't get melon. If ever we do, if ever we get that in the f uh, future, I'd quite like to try Someone a, have words a with Convicted Josh. Melon. Get melon out, yeah. <laughs> get the melon. <laughs> Is it from a punk band? I don't know. We have no idea. <laughs> All I know it is cool. that it's free, and I like free. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway... <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome Your to the name. podcast. Uh, Matt is down from... Um, okay, there isn't actually a flavor called Gaping Grape, is there? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I, I, hope, I hope that isn't, but I kind of want No, it. I hope it is. <laughs> we, we've, we've had uh, Matt down for the weekend. He's uh, come down from where he lives to ruin our weekend completely. Yeah. And we thought, what, what better thing to do than to ruin the podcast as well with him? So, groping grape. Weekend, Wait, is We've it? It's been a good weekend. Grape? Groping grape sounds worse. Groping. I I prefer gaping grape. Over yeah, groping, groping grape has yeah. like a bad on. Hold on, hold on. Can we put the camera to? I was set? gonna say what. <laughs> so I was gonna say what, and I was like, I can't say that. <laughs> Dale was sat there with his hand outstretched to Matt for about a minute or two, and Matt just completely backed him. Completely. We also have for once. I say for once, for a while anyway. We have Stan on, on cameras today instead. Applause. I didn't plug the microphone. You didn't plug the microphone. It's, it it's up to you if you, want to. if you want to do it, go for it. Uh, I'll plug it and leave it on that. There There's we go. Stan right there. So, so Stan's going to join us to talk about stuff as well, which is going to be uh, <laughs> fucking Pog. The great flavor. So, uh, <laughs> fucking um, hell. <laughs> do you know what the cable is? You can't say, you you can't can't say, say that on like. stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no see it's not that bad <laughs> That's but real. like because you're like we can't say it on straight it's, it looks worse than it is anyway oh, so while stan up. is is sorting out the mics <laughs> welcome to the podcast we are uh, our first topic of today is as the thumbnail has said we um tiktok could possibly be banned and as we're all avid tiktok users because we all love a bit of our talks being ticked brain rot yeah exactly yeah. complete which is the the new term for it anyway yeah um yeah it's all being uh they, they've kind of gone look we've possibly passed the bill moved. the house of representatives have gone we don't want tiktok so they've given china six months to sell the company to a u.s it's uh, not it's, company. It's not a US company. It's just to another company. Uh, to another company that the US approve of. Oh, yeah, that they approve yeah. of. Uh, basically a US yeah. company. Or like a British or some European company. I mean, they're not gonna they're not gonna be happy with anyone no. that's not funding themselves. 
But yeah, they have to they have to um, sell it within six months, or it's just completely banned from everything, mm -hmm. um, which is kind of wild. You okay, Stan? There is a stand behind you. Yeah. Might give you uh, <laughs> free hands as well. Yeah, the band's in America. It's only yeah. like America that has yeah. TikTok band. Yeah, but I, w I was kind of wondering. I was like, because we're all avid users of it. Um, and I thought, well... Are we uh, going to suffer uh, if America gets banned? I reckon I it will. I don't think so, because it's only like 10% of TikTok really? is America. Wait, really? Yeah, it's mm. only like 10%. Because you have to remember... Seriously? I mean, I when think... you consider population size of America... Compared to everywhere else, ten percent still pretty fucking big. I'm that, gonna miss big, Britney bro. Broski. I think. Who the fuck? Is I, that? I don't think it will get banned. I, I think it's a female algorithm thing. Britney Broski. Oh, is it somebody suggested to you? No, Britney Broski is quite big on TikTok, but yeah, yeah. So, I mean, so she user, right? like garners towards the female audience more. Oh, so I'm okay. not surprised if you haven't seen her on your TikTok. Oh, that's fair. But is it what? Is it like a US creator or something? Uh, well, yeah, she's in America. Um, but she's like, she's really funny. Twist the middle. <laughs> yeah. On her YouTube as well. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but the TikTok is where Britney Broski popped off. Britney Broski is the kombucha girl. Um, do you remember the, there was like a tweet that was like, when you taste ass for the first time, when you eat ass oh the first my time, God, I don't, I I don't know who you're talking about. And it's like a girl that's like ha ha having a bit of a drink, and then she goes, you know. Oh, is it like, that person? Yeah, like it's oh. uh, but wait, like second taste flavor. Oh. That's Brittany Broski. Oh, I see. So she went from being a meme to being a content creator on TikTok. Nice. Okay. okay. And popped off there. And she has her own podcast. She had Whoa. Hassan Abi on her podcast. Whoa. She has more people. I'm going to stack you a mat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love these mats. Legacy <laughs> memes, basically. <laughs> yeah, and I was kind of like, okay. I, I was looking at it and going, I think you're missing a piece. Man, there's, wait, I, have we sworn in the last couple of months? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, never mind. Like like twice. Be before this, Matt was like, how long till we can swear? And I was like, I don't know, a couple of minutes. And then I lost track of it completely. I'm pretty oh, sure we they all swore as soon as the thing went live. Well, <laughs> that, uh, who cares? Oh, well. Anyway, oh, well. it doesn't matter. So I, th I think it was. Okay. Wait. Oh yeah, it does. Hello. Hey, there we go. We can hear Stan as well. Chat, nice. can you tell so us, we're can joined you hear by Stan, Stan as well. But yeah, with um with TikTok as big as it is in uh around the world, like I don't know, there's a lot of funny shit that comes from the US. So I'm kind of hoping they don't get banned. But so, like with my job role and stuff, I've like attended um conferences around like online safety and that kind of stuff mm. and like it was mostly like welsh government there but they were talking about like um putting like controls on stuff like tiktok and other social media really um yeah. and like banning some of them as well if they're not willing <coughs> to like um commit to a lot of the for just for wales uk uk, UK. okay wait, wait wait so the uk is also talking about it not just tiktok though yeah the Fuck social media man. as a whole so mm -hmm. um it's to do with a lot of like the self-harm content oh. um, that's on there because there was uh one particular case of a child who would commit suicide yeah mm -hmm. um but like they were watching a lot of self-harm content it is really serious like a case and something to look at it's just the like control measures that should be in place yeah aren't in place it aren't it, it place is like wild how yeah. easy it is to find this stuff though because yeah. like we all grew up with fucking the wild west of the uh fucking youtube of the internet and like yeah i want to be honest the amount of absolutely messed up stuff i watched when i was younger like <laughs> it's been taken down but lively keeps to be Mm. Well, you'd go on it and you would see some horrendous some stuff. People killing themselves. Literally. Like, but yeah. the, the difference wild. between then and now with TikTok, you, like back in the day, you used to search <coughs> for this fucked up shit. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Now the algorithm yeah. Is by major. chance, you would glance at something quite serious and very yeah. distraught yeah. Yeah. on the internet. And you just can't go out Yeah. But it. whereas TikTok will push you this shit if yeah. you keep yeah. watching and it. That, that's what they were talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The conference, it was like, once you start, like, you're in this cycle mm -hmm. it's hard to get out of because it's pushed yeah. towards you then so it's, it's really bad like it's, it's the same for it me is. just a few days ago 
Yeah, you, it, you said that, and I remember the fucking plane crash shit. It just wouldn't start. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, Go on, I, tell us about it. I tell us about it. Go on. flying. It freaks me out. And TikTok decided to show me a video of like, here's a simulation of this plane that crashed with Five Nights at Freddy music over it. <laughs> and all the statistics of who died, how many died, and how many lived. Now, not interested. And then for next week, oh, that's all I got on TikTok was just that plane fucking crashes. music. And just playing crashes, and I was like, brilliant. I appreciate this so much. It's literally one of those where you go, I do not want to watch this, but I'm really interested in no, seeing I what ha- I what's happening with it. I didn't want to see any like, of it. All right, okay, fine. <laughs> you watch one, and then it's like, oh, the next one, isn't it? Good. But then the one afterwards will be it, and you're like, oh, fuck. And the more you see it, the more it will recommend <laughs> yeah. to you. And it's just a constant sort of thing. So if you hesitate for a split second, you're done for. Yeah. 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 Well, I can see people in chat saying like, oh, "I've seen worse on this, and I've seen worse mm-hmm. on this." But like, obviously, we're highlighting TikTok at the moment. Yeah. yeah. But like, all social media works on the same kind of thing. Where like, once you stop seeing this stuff and like interacting mm-hmm. with this stuff in any way, that's when I feel like thing. TikTok is the one that is the worst for it because you go so fast through yeah, so yeah, many yeah. videos. It's just yeah. a case of I've hesitated for a moment and yeah. therefore that is now in my algorithm. Their algorithm is like top notch as it in is, like it to is keep up good. with what you want to see. But it is, as Dale saying, very different to you looking for the content mm-hmm. and a robot showing you it as in giving it to you. Mm-hmm. It, like you could watch, I don't know, a, a video of some dude dancing and then scroll and see one of these videos. Yeah. And like, that's how easy it is to switch from one to the other and then scroll again. Like I've seen some, like, you know, I don't get suggested any like really fucked up shit because, you know, I, I'm i too busy watching Fruits Dance or like- um, Cat videos. Like. I, yeah, or yeah. cat videos. Yeah. And by, you know, my, I mean actual Fruits, by the way. So the by f- the way. Um, <laughs> My, mine's not dog videos. What's as well. the connotation? Dog videos like, as well. Are funny dog videos. Yeah. Like, that's what I noticed yesterday when I was sat mm-hmm. on TikTok. It was like dog video, dog video, just dogs doing stupid shit. Like, mm-hmm. I literally I watched one cat co- compilation of like loads of cat. Like, and it was just one long video of a bunch of different cats. And I've seen so many of them in the past couple of days because it'll recommend them. And I'm just sat there like, this is amazing. I'm fucking having a great time. I just cats all the time. I love it. And, uh, yeah, it's very different. Like, say I had that, and then all of a sudden it showed me something self-harming. Like, as I am now, I'd be completely fine. But, like, in in the places where I wasn't great, that would, that would I'd be obsessing over those. I'd be watching it, and then another one would come up, and I'd be watching that, and then another one. Mm-hmm. And it would just be a constant sort of cycle. And it is, with a robot forcing you to watch these things, well, not forcing you, but, like, pushing them to you over and over. I can see how it could be harmful. I feel like the way the US is going about it is a bit of a, I don't know, it feels like they're kind of trying to control it because it's such a big source of revenue. And uh, also it kind of feels like old people don't understand what this is and it's just mm-hmm. blaming an app for Yeah, they these need things. to look at social media as a whole, anything yeah. they use an algorithm, yeah. they need to I, look at it all. They don't can't just pinpoint everything mm-hmm. to TikTok. There is so much out there that has like I think yeah. terrible shit. The main thing for TikTok compared to the rest of those apps is TikTok isn't an American based company. True. Mm-hmm. And I think that's yeah. what a lot of the band's about. Because I don't think even if China does or what it called does. Ba- ba- fuck you. Uh China. E- Okay, so I need to be closer then. You no, need I'm to be just doing it, it just in case. Oh, you okay. need to be eating hello, it. Hello, don't eat it. Hello, don't eat hello, it. Hello, take, hello. It, take it away. How's it going, guys? <laughs> Fucking move it. There you go. <laughs> but like even with God, like I don't want to use that mic ever again. <laughs> Even We've been with, deep throwing these mics for the last year and a half. What are you on about? <laughs> but like, uh, the amount of times I've had my entire lips over this has been mad. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Carry on, anyway. But no, yeah, even with like the bite dance, I don't see them still. I don't see like America banning it. It's most yeah. likely just going to work something out behind the scenes. I'd imagine so. Because I like, I think it's suicide for both people to do it. Yeah. Like China won't want one of their biggest products being sold to a foreign company. I mean, and America don't want to have like what is going to be one of their largest voting bases coming out thinking you're a bunch of twats and not voting for you. Well, th- there was so things. Voting bases. Floating oh. bases. <laughs> <laughs> Just up in the sky. <laughs> Floating bases. <laughs> You've had a mayor this weekend yeah, not for not speaking great. English. Like It's not been great. You're meant to be Irish and you can't speak English. What's going on? That's what I was meant to be. Yeah, true. Good point. A little bit closer. Meant to be Irish. Well, like here? Yeah. Moved it away again. I, I, fidget. I need something to fidget with. Give him the fucking Grab rubber ball. Willie. No, because he's going to throw me at some point. <laughs> and if I give him the option to give it to me, he's just going to lob it at my head. Say yes. I dare you. Okay, yes. 
can't, I can't really. hurt you. You're yeah, like a you big can. child. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, we, Stan, we earlier, when we were sat around eating, me and Matt were sat down, and Matt was sat there with food on one leg, food on another, like two boxes, and he had a big old, like, napkin as a bib, and he yeah. was there, like, with his drink in the middle, it looked like I was looking at a baby. I the door and just saw it there. I was like, "You better go a picture of this." Sam. As soon as I said that, he pulled it out. I was like, nope. <laughs> hey, all I'm saying is, I didn't spill anything on my shirt, and he did. So, <laughs> on my new shirt. Hey, my bib work. That's all I'm Got saying. Some food on my shirt. Barely visible. Yeah, I can't Every even. Every time I come it. on the podcast, I have food on my shirt from. Because you're a fat That's funny. <laughs> Every time. That is funny though. Isn't it? Maybe you should wear a bib. But I, should wear a bit. I think with the whole TikTok thing, my favorite thing about it is the one meme. So Nancy Pelosi, which is one of the fucking old bitches in Congress, uh, literally, she went, this isn't a ban on TikTok. This is to make TikTok better. <laughs> Tic-tac-toe. <laughs> Just completely right. Oh, no. I'm like, huh? She doesn't get it. <laughs> like what? It, I don't know. I kind of feel like uh, with it, they might go through with doing it and just ban it anyway because it is a very what as stupid as that is yeah what yeah. she's saying i agree with though like that don't yeah. ban tiktok make tiktok a better place yes yeah. however like chat is sort of saying that it's kind of tied into politics um i think of course it is. they want to ban tiktok because tiktok is unfiltered and you can get news around the world and quote unquote the truth but not really from all around the world yeah so if media can't control what you're getting because you're getting it through tiktok and they can't fear monger you or control your opinion especially when it comes to votes oh yeah, yeah. it's it is politics i get that but i just feel yeah. like there are things on there that need to be monitored <laughs> yes i'm not saying that like agreed the me media should be monitored as a whole but like no you know the things that aren't safe for people to watch mm -hmm. shouldn't be accessible on there no they shouldn't be so there should be so more that's, that in my mind that's what needs to be controlled yeah um the, i think as a, like if i were an american i'd be comp like really frustrated wait you're not american no i'm not i oh, may I sound like american. One. i'm lesbian wait really <laughs> <laughs> oh. i didn't know you were american holy shit um if i were an american i'd be really frustrated because this bill has been passed really fucking quickly I know, dude. Compared they, uh, to other bills that so I think are so much There's so much else in their country that they could sort out and they're like, mm -hmm. nah, sorry. But the fucking TikTok nah. is the demon and yeah. it's been bit, huh? It's passed through so fast. Like it has to be a threat to them. Like it has to yeah, be. Yeah, 100%. If the bill is. passes so fast, they're like, yeah, get this thing fucking through. It feels like it's, uh, as was sort of said, just a control thing. Or mm -hmm. it's like, because America doesn't control it, they're like, oh, well, we don't want it. It yeah. doesn't run through us. We can't That's have that. Like, it's got yeah. something to do with it. it a especially on the lead up to an election year. Mm -hmm. it's media so important. is so powerful. Well, TikTok in 2016 would have been a fucking disaster. Yeah. Jesus. I mean, fucking... It was bad in 2020. 2024 is going to be really fucking bad. Mm -hmm. I think, well, Instagram recently pushed through something where it made it so that uh, political posts and stuff are automatically filtered out of your feed yeah. now. So it was a new update in the last week or two where they have done that. So you have to go into your settings to re-enable political stuff. Yeah. So like, which feels yeah. like it is, well, it is censorship essentially is. through that. Mm -hmm. And that's an American company because, you I'll know, be Facebook. If you're getting your yeah. political opinions from TikTok, not from TikTok, Instagram, Instagram, you're probably baked to begin with. I mean, maybe, but... But it is, with, it is it's like going media. To, it's like going to Facebook to get political stuff. Well, it is media thing, that you are consuming. Now. Yeah. But it's the same with Twitter. It like, not, but it's not my... It's it not wouldn't be my... It's not a bad thing to have that option. It isn't. No, no, no. Some people don't want to go on there. But it should be something you opt into instead of to opt out to it. Instagram's quite filtered to begin with if you're going to see what you typically look for on instagram yeah so if you're i mean i'm gonna be honest if i went on instagram and saw stuff like i looked up something and then saw something yeah. completely different i'd be annoyed exactly so it's like it's <laughs> it's just weird for instagram to have at first because instagram's not exactly the platform i think that's ah, so where i'm gonna go see pol yeah. politics on it would be like twitter or tiktok Oop. even though twitter's a bit of a mess but that's uh pump them up pump them up Oh, apparently do not heal on your word. Yeah, oh, I can't speak English. Uh, am I quiet? Yeah. I I'm usually quiet. We just haven't adjusted the just volume. Soft me. spoken person. But sometimes, like there are there, there are people on TikTok who are just hello, very hello, hello. good at delivering news. Huh? There are people on TikTok who are just very good at delivering news. Mm -hmm. At least for the most part, in, 
and then oh fuck, here we go. You can't speak English, boys. And in a reasonably unbiased way Mm -hmm. where like they'll give you at least the base information without any sort of give or take on either side and it's enough for you to go looking to see more yeah and whether or not that sways your opinion on which direction you go yeah Yeah. one of these days that alone is like that's the biggest danger that's why they want the stuff back is because it it's just a not like there's no intent behind what they're saying Mm -hmm. they're saying what's happening yeah Mm -hmm. well it's the more avenues to have news, the better, in my opinion. Yeah. But what that also does is that makes it so that their news sources cannot be... Com- like pro- uh, Whatever propaganda is sent out into the world is not completely unopposed, which yeah. is what TikTok and Facebook and Twitter and all that do. It's that it gives avenues for people to see other opinions and you know, what technically the truth is for these things. Yeah. So if politicians are pushing against these things... Kind of feels a bit yeah. wild. Dude, I just want to fucking sit there and look at cat videos and be <laughs> happy. Like, yeah. my brain rot is gone. Like, uh, I, I say gone, but um, as in my brain has gone and has been replaced by all of this. Just by it. It's really pretty funny. Stan, you use TikTok much? Not at all. Really? That's a surprise. I've, I've never used it. I feel like you would huh. really enjoy TikTok. Nah. Mate, you can you Maybe can go through and find <laughs> women dancing and then just have That's women fine. dancing all I've, the time. I've, I've never enjoyed short form content, to never be honest. To... So it, 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 you know. Do you want to see first traps? Not really. Hmm? Do you no want to see men bending over? Not really. Spreading their cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> Two dudes just kissing. Yeah, I mean, you format. see that on YouTube with That's an air true. video. Like, come on. That's true. We did all yeah. sit there and watch a guy spread his asshole for yeah, us. We literally did. Uh, we, like, that <laughs> near video of that. I, can, we, can we get Stan to watch it? He's seen it. No, oh. I've, I've not. I closed my eyes. didn't want to see it. <laughs> it's fine. You may not have saw it, but it looked at you. <laughs> I <laughs> saw you. <laughs> I, got, I can't believe it winked. Mate, there was one time when I was streaming, and I quite literally went, okay, guys, look up this video. <laughs> Oh my lord! Uh, uh, oh, I was like, if you want to see something fans. funny, I think I, I think I linked it, and there was there was just a bunch of people going, "Why the fuck did? Oh my god, why?" And I went, "Wait till it winks at you," <laughs> and then it happened, and they were like, "Oh my fucking god!" Do you remember? God. It wasn't the TFT customs we did a couple of weeks ago, but the one before we that where we made everyone there yeah! watch the video. I remember that. I that was, was just funny. sixteen people staring at a dude's asshole together. I, I can't was like, believe the yep. creator himself denied the winking. I know he's like, would you? I didn't make it wink. It's like it fucking flexed in our face. What else is that? Mate, he walked over when it was a gun show and then walked off like, what the fuck? How is it not? Either he winked at us or his ass is fucked that he can't control his ass doing that. <laughs> Literally went. <laughs> it was horrendous. Uh, but yeah, um, they said that. Uh, so. China did say that there was going to be, if this did pass, there would be ramifications from it. A hundred percent, just ban. Like, so the Facebook creator of TikTok well. is Singaporean, right? Yes. But the company Talk that it. owns TikTok it is, is from China. China? Yes. yes. Yeah. Bite size. Bite, Bite dance. dance. Bite dance. I've got it written down. I was looking for it. Bite size. Yeah. Bite dance. Isn't that like uh, a video game company? Fucking no idea. Right. I, know, I was thinking of BBC Bite Size. That's, like, that's <laughs> yeah, the old <laughs> games <laughs> ones. Yeah, yeah those are good. Vision and whatnot, <laughs> like you know. Where you went on to go look up things in school and then played games to exactly. learn maths. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, to learn maths. That but was they, it. Yeah, hundred percent. They were like. um there will be some form of ra- like legal stuff happening if they, 100%. Uh, let's say that they ban went through. managed to ban TikTok. What do you think is going to happen? Fuck off. Oh, I mean, they're going to have Amer- China America kicking will it off. try and force out a TikTok equivalent to be like, Probably. hey, you, TikTok's bad, but hey, you have That's this. going to be controlled. If Vine was yeah. shut down, then TikTok was like yeah. made into. But Vine I'll be too. honest, it will not do well. There would be so much mm-hmm. better all that it would be very clear that they was brought out specifically because mm-hmm. they banned TikTok with this in mind. I'm it just would, wondering like if there's gonna be any competition, if there's if there's gonna be another app that is similar to TikTok. Probably, but if it's made by America it won't. Ever it's more than likely yeah. going to, but there's so many people on TikTok currently that I can't see any of them moving, so it might be a US only thing. Yeah. I reckon people will just start using VPNs. A hundred percent. Like yeah, a lot more. And I think it'll be It'll more, be more popular. a little bit sad to see like US content being off the platform because I think America's fucking insane. There is some really good content on there. Yeah, and from US. usually the content is fucking crazy. Yeah. You can get the crazy people and crazy shit on TikTok from Americans. Shout out. <laughs> 
I like watching the guy from Shout US. Shout out to the crazy Americans. <laughs> who talks Shout about... Crazy Florida, man. Uh, th- there's a He's dude... Specifically Florida. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there's a... Before, before I, I come back with more th- with that, uh, there's a guy on TikTok that talks about, like, celebrities and, uh, like, how, like, creepy they are. And it goes into, like, like looking at certain ones and the creepy things they've done. There's, like, this series called Holly Weird. And I just... I like sitting mm-hmm. there just watching through these. And it's fucking good, like... There's what some, is this or is it's this dude who like um goes into looking at like controversies that have happened with different celebrities that people that aren't widely known so there's ones with like um i forgot what his name was i don't know there's a there's a bunch of these different ones that have like really sus stuff and you're watching them and you're like and the, these aren't people that are called out they're just things that they have done day to day and you're like oh this is uncomfortable. This is weird. Yeah. I just I just like watching these things. It's nice. He also has another series where he just watches old films that were really like iffy and dodgy and like kind of racist. And uh and you're like watching through them. He like makes a comedy skit sort of about watching these. Okay. As in pointing out how bad these are. This sounds very niche, Sam. I, I'm a niche individual, all right. Yeah. I like it. It's it's not, but they're American. Yeah, okay, I was just gave you. I couldn't give a shit. Yeah. Russ wants to stare. <laughs> she but said, like, "Fucking so woman earlier." Yeah, okay. I don't what know. do you get? Uh, what's TikTok your apps? thing? You watching TikTok? What's, what do you get? What's what's what do I get? You? Yeah, what's your favorite thing? If you want to judge algorithm? so much, cunt. Oh God, I get so fucking so much. Three things you see. Feminism. Regularly. Couldn't give a shit. Feminism. Um, <laughs> you don't want to say couldn't give a shit to, the, to that one. That oh one. My God, you had, <laughs> mate, mate, you had that bullet locked and loaded that whatever she you said, were no you were what. ready. And you were going to, you were going to say it no matter what. And then, you and then she said feminism, feminism. And you're like, bang. Oh, fuck. I, uh, I shouldn't have said that. You just pissed off a lot of people, Matt. Um, <laughs> Whoops. Probably weight loss. <laughs> Couldn't give a shit. <laughs> All right, that one, fair enough. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> and something funny. Probably cats and dogs. Okay, yeah. I give a shit about it. What's your three, Sam? My three, what? Of that things... you see regularly on TikTok. Oh, I can fucking tell you, man. I'll just, like, oh, it's, it's literally like cat uh, or animal videos. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, that's the big one. Um,. I, I, it's fucking Kurt Angle is is there. I don't really see him that often. Just, I don't know. Cat videos, the like weird. I quite, even though I don't believe them, I quite like conspiracy theories. Yeah. Well, they're, like they're that. fun to think about. They're, it's just fun them. watching people's thought processes mm-hmm. going through these things. And I like documentaries. I'm looking for like, what keeps coming up. You know, like. Uh, murder mysteries and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. Yeah. I like watching those because mm-hmm. it's just I find it so fascinating to hear about these people and how they work and how they've kind of like gone through things and what happened and how they got caught and stuff. It's yeah, they, they are interesting. There my was my bored. three things that always pop up on my TikTok, like I said, are dog videos. Yeah. Pokemon slash Digimon. Like <laughs> yeah. an equal mm-hmm. mix. Specifically yeah. the videos I was showing you the other day. <laughs> And wrestling, a shit ton of wrestling. Really? Oh wow! Always go wrestling stuff. I was watching like a little like documentary thing with um, <coughs> Mark, well, world's strongest man, Mark Ray Ripley. No. Oh, Henry. <laughs> world's Mark strongest Henry. man, Ray Ripley. Yeah, I, yeah, I think I saw it. Where he had to go prove her again, yeah, didn't he? Yeah, he'll go and prove. And Vince was like, "Well, if you don't like, come back, he's like, first. you can go do it, but there's no place in the company for the second strongest yeah. man." <laughs> And he was like, okay, fuck it. And then he just smashed all the records, didn't he? Yeah, I see. Yeah, I was that one, watching yeah. this one. And, uh, I get it, a fuck ton of TikToks with like filters and shit, like games. Hmm. They like purposely fuck up the game so, to make them like, oh my God, it's so hard. Nobody can do this to like push are it. Those in. like the mobile ads. No, these are actually oh. people that are just like, um, I don't know why they're promoting the fil- filter that much. I think they're just trying to get like. Um, I was like, what engagement. I engagement. Cast, like, oh, Probably someone in the comments would be like, "Oh my god, I did it first try. You try." <laughs> it's <laughs> it's those. Like, What's your free things? Cats. Oh, I get. I get like fucking podcasts that from people constantly recommended, but oh, I never I watch them. Oh, like, who would watch really a podcast? Like, come on. So I like. I, I like watching clips of a lot of podcasts, but I've never yeah. watched a full podcast. You keep oh. sending me uh, fear and. Yeah, but I've never sit there and watch a full podcast. But it's funny. I have actually. It's, it's funny just watching Austin being extremely gay. 
Excuse me? That's not even a joke. Austin he, is extremely he, gay. He is extremely well, gay. Okay. He's, he talks about just finding street twinks. Oh. And just like trying I to see. date them. I see. He's funny though. Yeah. I just remembered one other thing. I get recommended a lot of food videos. I oh, love watching food. It videos. comes in and out for that. me. Yeah, there's these two dudes that are have like very similar cooking videos, really similar. And every time I go into the comment section, is people comparing the two of them. Mm. It's like this guy thinks he's this guy. Oh, what a loser! And then if you go on the other dude's channel, it's the same thing in his comment section. Like his, like the fan base is just bouncing between the two. There's one other one like that where one of them is a rap god where he like raps like tortillas but he'll basically oh. just buy a takeaway and fucking slap her in a wrap uh, and wrap her up and grill it well, yeah. mm -hmm. and then there's another dude who makes burritos but the other guy full-on cooks everything and makes this really fancy ass cooking thing where mm -hmm. he'll put her all into like a big fucking burrito and then eat it and they're like uh, people compare him and like, oh, you're just trying to be like this guy. And the one dude literally spends like, I don't know, like 50 quid on all these different ingredients, like smokes his meat, fuck, glazes it, redoes this, does yeah, that. Makes buys from your local Chinese. Literally, <laughs> he'll buy it in a wrap. Yeah. <laughs> he'll yeah, buy like it. chips and curry sauce, put yeah, it in a wrap yeah. and be like, here we go, fucking perfect on his Scooby-Doo plate. <laughs> and it's literally the same Scooby-Doo plate every single yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. That's, it's been through the ringer at that point. He's <laughs> eating a plate at this point. And the wrap dude is a Scooby-Doo. Uh, Scooby <laughs> it's a Scottish <laughs> guy. <laughs> and the burrito guy is an English one. It's just one. a guy in a dog costume. <laughs> like, <laughs> Scooby-Doo <laughs> <laughs> rap <R> <R> rappy <laughs> you say rappy yeah <laughs> you fucking awful you are i'm funny <laughs> product placement pog let's go <laughs> um yeah i admit tiktok is, it makes me happy to watch it but what i will say oh, is so I've been meditating for like uh, about two and a half months or so, like every day doing it. And 10 minutes is very slow when you're doing that. Yeah. 10 minutes on TikTok is insanely fast. I can't reach it. Go on, do it again. All right. Um, 10 yeah. minutes on TikTok is insanely fast. I, I, I watch one video. I'm like, oh, I'll do something in 10 minutes. I look at the clock. Cool. A few videos on TikTok. I look at the clock again. Three hours have passed. I'm like, oh what the fuck this yeah. has gone so supremely fast is insane that's why i try not to go on tiktok in bed anymore yeah because i would wake up in the morning and i'd spend two three hours laying in bed doom like, scrolling I'd wake up and I'd, like a good time to get up Ugh. out of bed yeah. and then all of a sudden it's like 12 o'clock so that's what i did this morning yeah, when you were like did you just so wake bad. up i was like no i've been awake since in all fairness all literally I did, me this morning as well all i did instead was go and play tft for three hours <laughs> i mean that's fine I but was it, got, it right. got you out of bed it got though. Out of bed. that's the mm -hmm. important bit and you were a bit more like productive because you yeah. know you might have been playing tft but you yeah. were doing something but i was climbing in tft yeah, yeah. yeah. some good games you know mm. you know and if you lost all those games it's fucking amazing i'll stay in bed but yeah, you exactly i did i pretty much won all day today so that's good <laughs> Plus, Lon likes to have the bed to herself in the morning. So. Well, well, there you go. Yeah. Win -win. If me and Matt were there, like, as, no, with you there. <laughs> Where's this going? <laughs> we, we were like, go only on. one person leaving the other person in bed. We'd just be, be sat there on TikTok for the, rest, the entire day. I don't know why we're sharing a bed. Occasionally, but... we're just like, we'll send one details. Like, he'll laugh at this. Yeah, exactly. Mate, that's literally all I do. You sent me a fucking video last night on TikTok that I showed you in the office like three hours beforehand. <laughs> I'm just like, what the fuck, Sam? Uh, he doesn't pay attention. No, the so worst that's... part, you know what cat video I sent you? It was that one there and I, uh, I showed you it yesterday as well and you just went, oh, Matt, look at this. And I'm like... Uh, <laughs> mate, it, it, like... It's one of those things. Mate, I've had that with Gary where I've sent him a video and because with your friends on it, it shows you them back and forth and keeps track of them. I've gone through looking at the ones he sent me. I look at it and I'm like, I'm sure I said there. I scroll up a little bit and it's there. <laughs> I've literally sent him it not even 24 hours beforehand. It's just one of those things, isn't it? I never it's just one of those him. things. You did it as well before you sent one to Trickle and yeah. me. And then Trickle was like, oh yeah, Matt, showed me. I was like, all right, discard that one then. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> it's, uh, it's mad. You limit it to one hour a day because I sit and watch loads of history and conspiracy shit. I, I go to the toilet, Nerd. I watch TikTok. I fucking just, <laughs> in between stuff, I'll sit and watch TikTok. Just really but quick I'm, and really I'm easy. I'm certain the reason you take so long on the toilet is because you take your phone every time. 
Yeah, probably. It could be. I mean, recently it's constipation, but you know. Um, <laughs> you actively beforehand. come back for your phone. I noticed that the other day when yeah. you kind of like left the room. It's, I went, oh, I need my phone. <laughs> I get really bored. I like I. F- uh, but you're more likely to like rush things up a bit if you you know. Yeah, I mean, it's, sometimes it's bad when you take the shit and you're like, I need a second shit, and you have no fun to entertain you till the second like shit. Yeah, you've never had that, have you? Huh? Well, like you you take the shit and you're like, I need a shit still. I've had that. What? You've never had that where it just feels like I still need a shit. After you've shit? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. Do you want to know something funny? What? I looked up constipation recently and that's a sign of it. Yeah, I've had that when I've been ill. Are you just always ill? <laughs> well, yes. Nah, what he does. <laughs> man, what he are you does always sick, man? Is the he thinks he's finished. <laughs> He gets up, washes his hand, and goes, oh, never mind, I'm yeah. not finished. Yeah, that's it, that's Why it. Why do you just finish shit in the first time? Because <laughs> he thinks he's done. <laughs> I, yeah. I like not, every, There's nothing left. It feels like I'm empty. Take but a like, book I feel like to I the toilet. Shit. Okay, I used to do that, and then I go no, on to TikTok. No, I could, because I would imagine there's just like shit particles on the book. Oh, I don't. I have a book. particles on your phone. I literally yeah, have yeah, a yeah. book a, a full next to my toilet. And you put it there. You don't put a book to your face. You put a phone to your face. yeah, you have your phone in the bathroom. your fingers all over the so you know phone. I was thinking, yeah, but who puts their phone? I remember I bite my phone. Yeah, stuff. you bit so your I phone. De- I definitely like you better now. sanitize that shit. Yeah. What I've started doing, yeah, now, yeah with my mouth to not get distracted on time. So I still take my phone to the toilet, yeah, mm-hmm. and I can get carried away. But what I do now is I read like one chapter of a manga, so like yeah. twenty pages. Like I always aim for the twenty page ones because it's quick enough that you're not gonna sit there forever. And like I know at that point, right, I'm done with my shit. I'll put this away, like so. That, that's my plan, like you know, going going with the Mate, game plan. Want, Whereas like, TikTok keeps going, you know. I mm-hmm. read manga on the toilet, but I can guess through like six or seven He's chapters. Finished one piece in one sitting, <laughs> basically. <laughs> like it's it goes to various the reasons. One piece of shit. There was a t- like when I first started creatine, I would sit on the toilet and everything would expel out of me in two minutes, and it was amazing. I, it was again. it was rough. I'm still on it. It's just hmm. the reduced. Well, go back. Uh, it was the initial week uh, where I had to like load up on it. I would have so much that it would cause this, and it was amazing because I walked away and I was like, "Wow, I'm empty for the rest of the day. I'm empty. I've not felt like this ever. I just need to drink laxatives every day." Like, no, just, so, just smash right. laxatives. After every like <laughs> pointing out that I read manga on the toilet, yeah, I've noticed that probably the last three or four Jujutsu Kaisen chapters that have released, you've read on I've the toilet read while taking a shit. <laughs> Like, I actively see their releases and go, oh boy, time mm-hmm. for a poo. <laughs> I think I've conditioned myself. You're fucking yeah, Pablo's yeah. dog yeah. yourself. You sat there, it can't wait to poo like, with this. Hey, shit. <laughs> the excitement leads to the shit. Just to read it. <laughs> fucking Pablo dogging yourself to shit. Yeah, That's impressive. Man. You sat there not knowing who's more excited, your brain or your bum or. <laughs> it's good, though. It like, starts you know. flexing in anticipation. <laughs> I know my douche feeling is bad thump, thump. on the toilet when I start losing feeling in my legs. Huh? Oh. I get like pins and needles. I get that a lot. And I stand up and I'm like, I've never walked before. I'm like Bambi. <laughs> <laughs> you like giraffes when they're born and they're like, the what? Yeah, I've had that a lot when I sit down on the toilet. There are a few things that I do when I want to like, like, okay, it's time to get off the toilet, but you don't want to get off TikTok either. It's either find a long-ish TikTok that you can sort of like put on the sink and then have that play. Oh, Ebs, we are exactly the same. Right. <laughs> no, I, I do it as or, well. Like listen to some of my wife in, you know. Yeah. Of. Or you don't bother with that and you just put the last thing on. Well, and you still open. Uh, no. Yeah, no, 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 wipe it. Just pull up and go. No, 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 no. <laughs> the worst don't thing is that. Uh, wipe it. The does worst it? doing that. Is when it's a shit video and, you and sh- you've and already committed one. to wiping and it's short and you're hearing the same line seven or eight times in a row. Again. You're, you're wiping up, you're washing your hands, you're kind of drying up and you're like, fuck, I could recite this at this point because I've seen it so often. It's the worst yeah. doing that. Yeah, oh, we've all been there. It's so disheartening. But when you have one that ex- that goes on for a while and you're invested in mm-hmm. and is interested, it's fucking great. It is nice. Because you're like, oh, sick. I, you know, don't I'm really so productive. come often, I'll be honest with you, because no. it's just a short form TikTok thing. I'm <sighs> convinced, due to TikTok, that we as human beings do not have one singular, like, um, special experience. I think we all experience the same shit. Your dad hit you as well? No. <laughs> Not like that. You idiot. 
<laughs> really tickled yourself with that one. <laughs> it's just, it's mm. just told a joke and I just burst out laughing. You good? Mm. It's Ed's disappointment in the joke. <laughs> Man, I have lots of special moments when I'm on my own. No, it was more like <laughs> people have like posted on TikTok being like, "Is am I the only one that experiences this?" And then people in the conversation was like, "No, I experienced it. This oh, is what right, it's called." Okay. Yeah. Everyone, like. And everything is like really normalized on TikTok, and everyone is like, "Yeah, that's happened to me," and it's nobody good has because it special. helps normalize things that people worry about, like yeah. mental health stuff. But yeah. it's also bad because it does kind of take away from other things as not, well. Not even just mental health stuff. Like you know, I like sometimes when I'm focusing on something like drawing something, all of a sudden my eyes just shake. For a brief second, hmm. my I like just go. No, I think about that. I get yeah. that, but I get it when I'm tired yeah. and I have like. Um, being at the PC all day mm. with minimum sleep. Yeah, see, and again, it quite I didn't think about it at all. Yeah. And then a TikTok came by and was like, am I the only one that experiences this? And then it was exactly the same thing. And I was like, no, I also do it. And then check the comment section and loads of people are like, yeah, that happens. It's called this. When I get really, really tired, my ankle sees up really badly and it's so painful. And at that point, I'm like, okay, th- I need to sleep now. Like that, that's beyond the point of tiredness <laughs> at that point. Mm. I'm like, ah. Oh. Plus, uh, oh, pimple pumping videos. Uh, no, nah, if you link me, <laughs> if you link me vile. one of those, I will punch you. I'll drive but, to your house see, and punch you. you know, I know when it is time to go to bed. When you start getting pimple popping videos, TikTok oh. promotes pimple popping videos when it is time to put the phone down. No, and it fucking sleep. doesn't. The one I always get the ear Ugh, thing when they got the camera on the thing where they hook like, oh, oh yeah. that's satisfied. Like, oh, I know people it's fucking who disgusting, love but them. I'm like, oh, like, spoon, it's minging. I know. There's people who love those It's why things. I clear my ears every day. The it's ear ones, disgusting. the mm-hmm. pimple ones, they love them. They yeah. find them so satisfying. Oh, and I'm yeah. sat there Almost the pimple, vomiting. The pimples make me want to gag. I, I mm. almost vomit every single time I see it. It's so fucking disgusting. I'm starting to enjoy the ASMR. Like they they make these like soaps and they cut them up and oh, you know I the, like the crunching. I like when there's the like a Reddit post in the background going and then they've got yeah. those there and I'm more focused on the soap than I am everything <laughs> yeah, on else. the story my, that's yeah. happening. My favorite ASMR ones are once like my boyfriend gets hit by a car and it gets run over a second time and shit. No, like the boy, your <laughs> hot boyfriend's hitting you with a pan. Oh, yeah. have <laughs> you not seen the ones? It's like, oh yeah, my boyfriend gets hit by every car in existence yeah. and then somehow he dies. I don't think I've seen that. It's more or less seeing, it's more hearing. <laughs> Just hearing you talk about pimple videos makes me frown. I, I, that's how I feel. They are disgusting. They Why? actually make me heave. Okay. It's, I don't know. It's, just, it's like cleansing. It fucking ain't. You gotta remove it though. Yeah, without me seeing it. <laughs> <laughs> like you, if you want to do this, by all means do it. I ain't it's fine on it. yourself. Like you gotta remove it, but when you're watching other people remove it, yeah, you know, it yeah, but I don't have like big ass fucking pimples. Yeah, I know, <laughs> but like showing. it's not something you need in your life, you know. <laughs> it, it's just so satisfying. I'd get the same reaction watching someone poo. Like, as in, for seeing it come out of them, I'm like, no, I don't no. ever want to see that. That's disgusting. <laughs> no, no. It's cleansing the webs, you know, it's getting her out. It's oh, satisfying. First time, that'd be funny. <laughs> it's first, it'd be a little yeah. funny, yeah. but it'd be like, eh, that's so gross. When you see imagine, it five times, just you're imagine like, imagine how much funnier the near hair removal cream video would have been if you <laughs> just squeezed <laughs> the shit out. Like, just get like a nugget fell out or something. That'd be good, oh, right? God. It would be. It'd be really funny. And then if it happened twice, I'd go, okay, enough now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Stop. Nah, I... Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, it's like... It, I think it reminds me of, like, worms or something. It's fucking, no, not poo. The fucking pimple <laughs> things. <laughs> like, there are worms the coming out of you. It's fucking God gross. Worms, like. mm. It's horrendous. There's a bunch of worms falling out your ass. Oh, God. It is absolutely abhorrent. I can't... I can't. <laughs> Makes me feel sick. Ugh. Thanks, Matthew. Thank you. Why the fuck do you call me Matthew again? Have you not seen What's your name? the description on YouTube or the stream title on Twitter? Full caps, like. <laughs> <Fuck's laughs> <sick. Yeah>. Martholomew. <laughs> I Ma- feel like Martholomew. Fuck, I can't even say it. Ma- Martholomew. 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 Matt. He's called Matthew. Turned up Zed. Oh. We were talking about Warhammer stuff and Matt's there going, oh, one of the Primarchs uh, in this story turned up dead, but he didn't say dead. He said Zed. 
And Zed's a character in the league that's a ninja. So me and Dale were sat there going, wait, he turns up like a ninja. He's like, fucking, ooh. Can I am not a Exactly, exactly. <laughs> My English isn't very good. You're Irish. Exactly. Why did you slap me? I didn't mean to. I'm you a, didn't mean to. I'm you like, swung at me. And then I just went, oh, okay. <laughs> Oh uh, no! Nah, the best was though yesterday where you said a word and went, "Oh fuck!" But you had said the word he correct. said it correctly. <laughs> they tried to correct himself three times and go wrong every time after. <laughs> the first one was right. It was just really a mate. Uh, I'm a little bit stupid. Okay, you a little, a little bit, bit yeah. just a little bit. Do so you have you... like a partial lisp? Maybe. Yeah. No, that's that's the accent. No. <laughs> no one knows what's going on there. <laughs> It seems, no. that, it seems that some punctuations <laughs> are a bit difficult it. for you. What? With some, it seems that some punctuations are a bit difficult for you. Yes, I might have a slight lisp. Say the word component. <laughs> Fuck off. Component. Component. Nah, component. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, like, that's obviously a big thing in TFT, and yeah. Matt plays a lot of TFT. And when he's asking Lil, like, would you like a, a what was it? Component anvil? <laughs> and three gold. Listen, Lil's fine with and every single you time fuckers, he says it. I'm like, use point to every time. Every, like, it's because you say it every time. Just get over. I'm gonna say no, it every no, time. And I'm gonna right. point it out to laugh every time. Oh, Matt, no, okay. <laughs> it's gonna be the reason I fucking leave SR. <laughs> but you're barely in. That's very uh, true. <laughs> one foot through the door, like. Yeah. At least you're on your first podcast, though. Yeah, Lil true. hasn't even done this yet. Yeah, no, she showed up at the office one time. I'm not doing the fuck use. I don't know if I, uh, I don't know if I asked it. Or no, there was the plan too. We just sat and played Tekken oh, the whole day instead. Oh, we did. Yeah, we played. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that was ages ago. <laughs> Tekken was good. Nah, Tekken I'm pretty good. positive Matt isn't the type that mispronounces purple burglar alarm. Try it. Be a Monday. Purple. <laughs> <laughs> purple. <laughs> <laughs> First oh my god, that could have been a worse start. <laughs> purple. Couldn't say the word purple. purple. I said first word. You literally can't even say the purple. word purple. I don't even think that's the tricky part. Purple burger nerd. You want to give it a second go? I want to give it a second go. Right. I'm going for round two. Right, okay. okay. I'm going to be so fucking subconscious. <laughs> purple burger all <laughs> Purple burglar alarm. That's two out of three. <laughs> Fuck. Purple. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so on the spot that I'm just <laughs> fucking choking it. it. It's a good effort. Not many people would try a third time. <laughs> 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 Purple burglar alarm. <laughs> well, no, that's not going to win anytime soon. Go get it. Go get it. Round four. <laughs> uh, have a sippy first. Yeah. Drink your drink. <laughs> get oh, liquid death sponsored to the fuck. <laughs> 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 well. Sponsored by liquid death. Yeah. Except we're not. Go on. <laughs> Yet. Yes. Purple burglar alarm. Hey! hey! Well, I'm I can say without fucking it up, and what? I'm gonna fuck it up now. Super Califragilistic XP. Fuck! <laughs> yeah. You were fine. No, I choked the, the Super Califragilistic XP hey, you you got it. I don't know why I can do that fine, nice. but I can't say that. What about say the Welsh an... town? Uh, fuck oh, no. no. Okay. Say anomaly. Anomaly. Hey, you're better than Gary. Thank you, Anna. Oh, thanks, Johanna. Welcome, Raiders. You just got here in time Raiders. to hear Matt say purple. Purple burger. Purple burger. Purple burger. Super so califragilisticexpialidocious? Yes. Okay. Now do. Svan var portkungel ko gerir hvendur og hvordan til silja kogogog. You say it better than Kyle. Because I'm Icelandic. It's because basically is Icelandic. He's basically. Welsh. No, it, he's Welsh, but he didn't go to Welsh school. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. He, you can say he's Welsh, but like not many people used the like Welsh alphabet. Mm -hmm. True. So, True. whereas a lot of like European people will have used the same sounds within the True. Um, like in Dutch with the G and whatnot. It's so it's easier yeah. for you. Fuck you. It is interesting because you know the double L's that you have in Welsh is mm -hmm. very similar to the Icelandic one. Yeah. So yeah. Like the C H in Welsh is similar to like the G in the Netherlands in Dutch. People say uh, if you know Welsh, German is easier to learn. 
because of a lot of That's similarities as well. Yeah. And now for the others to try A for Leogut. What? Hold on. How do you A ya fiala yukul? Uh, no. Say it again. Yukul. A for Leogut. Oh no, it's got the k at the end, isn't it? Mm. Is yeah, the middle that. one also there? Mm -hmm. Oh nah, I'm fucked. <laughs> I'm fucked. A what you're yeah. saying sounds uh, much shorter than what's written there. Because Iceland that? people talk really fast. What's that saying in English? What's Another that saying in English? Yeah. That's the mountain, right? Uh, island, mountain, glacier. So you have a mountain just called that? Yeah. What's well, the island, mountain, glacier, isn't it? Mm. Obviously. I have it like that. <laughs> yeah. I'm too stupid. Yeah. Nah, not stupid. I'm Uneducated. Cultured. It... Uh, you are actually very educated, though, aren't you? You're close, though, Sam. I mean, one day, yeah. You did say Fiara, which is. Yeah, yeah I didn't know. I thought it was fia, uh, Fiala. As in, like, the double fiala. L in Spanish? Yeah. Nah. But it's but like, I know what you mean. The thing. Yeah, that. Fetla. Fetla. Yeah. Fetla. Yeah. Go try. Fetla. 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 Fiatla. Sounds like she's saying the. Yeah. Fiatla, fiatla, fiatla. Sounds like she's saying the name of a certain war criminal. Fiatla. Hmm? Who? It sounds like she's saying Hitler over and over again. Wait, what? I did not hear that. I didn't hear until you pointed out. I'm hearing it over and over again. Fiatla, fiatla, fiatla. Oh, okay. I hear it now. There it is. Oh, that goes astray. Okay, okay. I heard that. I heard that. Okay. Fitta. <laughs> Fitta. The sound stick like in your mouth. The water makes when spilling on the ground. What? What? Oh, oh they if you feel your fair fair. Lon. Monkey. Monkey. Did you just call it Monkey? What was her name in uh Long Necky? No. Lombi. 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 Uh, she's probably got her things on. I want mm -hmm. trying to think of a word. Um, I think it's like weekly sprinkling. Weekly sprinkling in Dutch, mm. and it's uh, I don't know something to do with towing the cars, but the way it's spelled, like I was like trying I, when I'm over there, I try to like say words as I'm mm -hmm. going along, mm -hmm. and I'm like. Wiggle Spraglin. <laughs> Wiggle Spraglin. That reminds me of it's spelt like that. when Gary was down here trying to pronounce all the Welsh words. Yeah. Uh, Arachnophab. Yeah, yeah, we're not saying that one. Uh, the uh, Arachnophab. Or it was Arachnophab. Wait, what? With Arachnophab. You would say Arachnophab. What does that mean, though, in Welsh? A supermarket. Oh. Yeah. I know Araf. Yeah. No, a school? School. Yeah, school. Yeah. School. Um, no, yeah, I've forgotten the other ones. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, is that is that one of them? Dale? Yeah, veg slippen, veg slippen, or no, af no, sleep no. uh, pregeling. Names like veg fucking af sleep and pregnant. <laughs> you lifted my af sleep pregeling. Ha. Hmm. Hang ha. Oi, oi. Oi. This just looks like I'm beating someone off on the side. Wait. What's wrong with you? Thanks. No problem. <laughs> that, that might have sounded awful. <laughs> <coughs> now I need to get the cum on my mouth. Yeggers. All right. Next so, topic. Matthew. Matthew. Princess Kate got found. She's not dead. Yeah, I know. That's really surprising, though. You bit. were all aboard. I was the train, fully convinced, like, Will just beat the shit out of her. Yeah. Because he's notorious for having, like, anger issues. Yeah. And it's just, it's <laughs> cancer. I know. It was, like, the worst way I've ever seen a cancer announcement be handled. Wiggles Braglin. Right. So it's like, it. it's worse. It's like she had the cancer. And I was like, oh, yeah, she tried Photoshop. And then it, it's very weird. It, it? it is. I've never seen such a bad handling of an announcement of I've got cancer in my life. They literally went through the whole effort of poorly photoshopping something and then through doing that made the conspiracy even worse trying to cover up that she also had this. Yeah. It's and so bizarre, isn't it? it especially because it would you it seems like she's already had the surgery to remove the cancer. Really? Well, she had the uh, unannounced 
trip to the hospital where she spent six weeks. She's removed something which wasn't believed to be cancerous, but then with later inspection and is that no, okay? Yeah, yeah. that we, happened we to be the tissue happened to be. We, so we were aware she had the surgery, but there was so much weirdness behind it. Like no one in her family visited her the six weeks she was there. Barely will visited her once her kids never saw her. Like. It was just very weirdly handled. Are and they just like, preventing people to like, you know, overthink it? But they made it worse because mm. it started as a joke where it was like, haha, she went to the Willy Wonka thing. That's why no one's seen it because she's <laughs> working there. Mm -hmm. And then they just put out a really snarky comment saying, stop speculating where she is. And I was like, ha ha, they hate the joke. <laughs> and then the Mother's Day picture had happened where it was <clears throat> really badly photoshopped to the point where like international agencies were paying out, uh, don't use this photo. We no longer can trust the world. Well, actually, yeah. Well, that was it. They put out a thing saying like, they had <clears throat> to put out a kill on the photo saying, don't use this photo, it's fake. And they've only had to ever use that for like Iran and North Korea. Mm. And the royal family had it done on them. And it's like destroyed their international like. Credibility. Yeah. Which mm. is weird. That is very strange. But then the, the next day they followed up by saying, oh, Kate tried to Photoshop it herself. Yeah. And she was the one who yeah, did it. Yeah, I remember and then, that. And that, that turned it into a, where the fuck's Kate? If like, mm -hmm. you've just put a really badly Photoshopped image, claimed she's trying to do it. People have asked for photos. You put another image and it's from five months ago. So Which was also Photoshopped. All of this I knew nothing about because I know nothing Me about the Me and Lil were going yeah. at it. The, the only thing I saw was the video of her. Mm -hmm. It wasn't even her. What? It's yeah, it was a different person. It was two random people who kind of looked like them. What? Yeah. Very Wait, strange. are we all about the woman on the bench talking? Oh, about yeah, no, that was her. But there was oh, a video. Right. in the car. No, that's so her official announcement. It was the one walking what? around while shopping. Yeah, that wasn't her. Okay, it, I haven't seen that. Yeah, yeah. That was the thing. There was so much about it where it was just like, oh, yeah, this is Kate. It wasn't. Oh, this is Kate. It wasn't. Oh, this, this is Kate. You know the wasn't. Photoshop picture? Yeah. The, her face was taken from the Vogue magazines. Like yeah. that, that she had a Photoshop done with Vogue and they took yeah. that face and put it into the, this one for it. It's so fucking strange. And then like they did one, oh, here's her in the car <clears> looking <throat> the other direction. And it turns out that's from something else and they Photoshopped the hat off her. This is all speculation for it, all of it. Uh, uh, nothing we say is actually true or anything. But, but it's really it's weird. It's so fucking strange. It's so weird. It's it, so bizarre. And it was, it was to the point where people were like, she might be dead. Will might have beat her into a coma. It was all types but of things were flying. Somebody around. went, maybe Will de be, uh, did beat her, and the cancer surgery is the cover up. Mm. But at the same time, but I don't. It sounds really bad to say. I don't think it was microphone. Oh shit! Uh, I don't think it fully was cancer. Or is cancer because it's really weird to delay announcing it after just announcing that the king has cancer. Yeah, the king had it, and they immediately announced it. Yeah, essentially. Because there wasn't like there was there was like there was rumors. <laughs> I spend a lot of time reading news and shit, and about it as a byproduct, I see a lot of the royal family stuff. Yeah. There wasn't rumors kicking about that the king might have had cancer. It was it was confirmed, and within the day, it was out that okay. he had the cancer. Mm -hmm. She went into hospital. No one knew way. It wasn't a scheduled surgery. It was she was suddenly in hospital two days after Christmas. He's doing something, isn't he? No, you said no one knew way. Oh fuck! <laughs> no one knew way. It was just, it was very, the whole thing was just very weird and every way they handled it made it 10 times worse. Mm. It was a very strange thing to have. Yeah. Like the whole thing. I, it's so strange that two of them are so close together. I'm like, yeah. it's incredibly unfortunate if it's true that the two of them yeah. have it at this point because it's a horrendous yeah. thing. But it was like, huh, well, that's weird. And they've been really suspect about being so quiet about this for so long. Yeah. That's even weirder. Like what's going on? It, Why would you try and cover this up? It's huh? just it was it's a it was just a really bad PR disaster, and it was just a PR disaster of their own making because it's not like it was a leak or anything. Mm. It was a joke that they didn't like. They tried to squelch the joke in the worst way possible that actually did a serious damage to their reputation internationally, and then they just kept doubling down on not commit, committing to anything. <laughs> <for me>. <laughs> <laughs> It's a shame because what you're saying is very interesting. I know. And then you but just, I just, I can't. And you just sort of screw it on the landing with some of the words. Uh, it's a dawn shit. All of that, Kermit. 
fucking committing. <laughs> Matt, oh, the thing is, Matt God. is quite like. He's very clued up on a lot of stuff and he does a lot of reading into things. Mm -hmm. But it's so hard to sit there and listen to him for a lot, long period of time because of this. And he's obviously, he's a really good guest for the podcast. He's got a yeah. lot to say. But like, fuck, he just, he cannot talk. Fucking <laughs> committed. Oh, that's so good. That's fucking class. Oh. That's a... I oh, I'm that. not going to hear the end of this one for a while. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's probably the best one yet. <laughs> that's so good. Purper, yeah. purper, <laughs> big I don't even think I got to the alarm part at any point besides you the one I got right. Yeah, that's exactly it. Holy Worst shit. thing, I completely forgot what you were saying. I fucking lost track as well. Something about them committing something. <laughs> they just didn't commit to just giving a simple, like, oh, she's fine picture. Yeah. It was, because it, was, it wasn't like if we were like, oh, yeah, we need a video explanation why. It was just like, can you give us a picture to prove she's still alive and she mm -hmm. isn't in hospital still? Because no one's seen her, no one knew where she was. And every time, like, oh, here she is, it was the dodgiest photo on the planet. I mean, the reality of things is she yeah. might have wanted to, it to not be in the media. Yeah. 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 You, you can always consider that. She oh, might have just wanted it to not be there. She didn't ever have to say she had cancer. She could have just done a photo and no one had known. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, like, the thing. No one was but asking. But I think things just kind of got Microphone. out of hand to the point that, we're like, oh, we've got to say something. Yeah. Like. Microphone. But, oh. Keep in mind as well, like, with the Queen, they she went to hospital, and they, within probably a couple of days, announced that she was, um, like, unwell, basically. Yeah. Like, really fast. That That's it. Like Obviously, with the Queen, it's a bit different. It almost feels like they were just like, yeah, fuck them, bitch. It's like... It okay. was it was a very weird throwing under the bus type moment. It's so it's it so didn't strange. help as well in the middle of this. The rumored mistress of William was suddenly going like, "Oh, well, let's do yeah. the tabloids on her. Let's her get her into the public eye. Who is she? What she do?" It was like it was just very bad across the board, mm -hmm. and it's very well known in the UK that the tabloids are very willing to run whatever story the royal family pushed to them. Mm -hmm. So if you're suddenly getting a story about his mistress allegedly, it looks like something bad has happened to her. Turns out it was cancer, yeah. but at the same time, it just looks dodgy. Like, the news is so in the pocket of politicians yeah. and the royal family, it's unreal. Like, uh, the, there's a lot of propaganda in the UK, uh, both from the royal family and from other things as well. It's fucking bad. It's weird. It's yeah. just a very weird... It was funny, and it still is funny. I was expecting Princess Die too, and same. I mean, maybe it might actually, but you know. You're expecting Princess to die. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, I was expecting Princess to Die too, and what I got was Princess to Die. That's a really poor taste joke, but you know. It is what it is. It is what it is. Which we found out recently, Ebbs hates what Matt says because he says it so often. Well, it, it is, is what, what it is. is. Yeah. It's just a really repetitive thing. What was the other one I say a lot of? Uh, allegedly, no. Uh, allegedly is one of them. Uh, I mean, you said they go, and I'm all Not allegedly, all it was well, something so. else. Something uh, similar to that. Um, I'm not trying to think of all the phrases I would typically say when like starting sentences and stuff. While you go, when somebody's explaining something to you, you go, well, yeah. No, you just go, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then just keep talking yourself. So Yeah. <laughs> it's, it, the thing is, I can't, I can't sit and sit down there. I've just done it. I can't. I thought you did it on purpose. I you didn't. pissed Sam off with a couple of that. I know. <laughs> the, pro the problem is, is I can't like have someone sit there and me just stare at them because it makes it look like I don't give a shit. So I feel like I have to give a verbal communication yeah, that I'm actually I'm listening. Sorry, the the way you say it. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, He's really like awkwardly me. making eye contact. Like, yeah. oh, what do it, I do? <laughs> The thing when you do it is it feels dismissive. Yeah. It's not though. It feels it's really it, not. It, it, it's one of those things. I'm agreeing with like, you. It, it does, but I don't It's like it somebody be. has said an opinion and you're like, yeah. And then you start giving your opinion. It's like, yeah, enough of that. Fucking well, it, it. It, it, it is a bit bouncing back though. It is, but it's one of those things where like, Ooh, I'm acknowledging your opinion. I'm giving the. Now knowing that. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thanks. Good. I still don't like your opinion. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> All right, bigger. <laughs> Fucking bagel it. <laughs> Purple Pur -pur hamburger. Pur -pur. That's going to be the new link. Yeah. Purple burger. Hamburger. It's not like a cheeseburger. It's Purple burger. <laughs> Purple -pur burger's here to ruin your league game. Matt has an alter ego when it comes to league. So when he's not doing very well, he calls himself hamburger. And uh, <laughs> we don't understand why. He's just like, oh, I'm hamburger oh. now. And we're like, oh. Okay. I remember it. It's effectively. That's it. I say you effectively. You keep saying effectively all the time. Do you? 
if I'm trying to explain something I'll, 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 effectively, I'll, like, I'll use effectively as a sort of in between between sentences. Mm -hmm. That's awful. <laughs> <laughs> That's All right. on her. That's on her. The last right. thing, very quickly, is Overwatch 2's PV got cancelled. Again? Womp, womp. Completely. So, as in completely. completely. Yeah, no, I saw it. It's disappointing. Yeah. Yeah. No story, no PV at all. I don't get why they cancelled it. Okay, I get the cancelling part. I know why they canned it in terms of initially canning it. Yeah. But if, like, if you're just going to say, fuck it, Ben, why not just drop them and say, go nuts? But the team basically doesn't exist anymore, though, right? That's also true. So uh, they, a lot the... of the team just got moved about. Overwatch yeah, yeah, got yeah. like heavily neutered in the layoffs. Yeah, uh, I'm not <laughs> neutered. Jeez. But they they essentially disappeared when the game released. Still, just before the yeah. game released, like it was. It was a bit of a mess. Sorry, so. I'm laughing because yeah. Dale's like halfway to being horizontal it, again. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's <laughs> my it's natural position. I love just laying down, you know. But it's good, isn't it? I'm I, cozy I, right it now. It feels like. good. <laughs> like my I, feet I, are in this camera, but yeah, like. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> oh, that was no. a I'm glad Stan changed the camera to that point so just we could so get a scene of that. That was but a good no, one. That's the uh, second time where I could have just gone <laughs> into your mouth. Well, it was so it's the Overwatch cancelled and the Riot MMO as well is also cancelled. Call that shit months ago. Uh, has it been cancelled or has it been oh, it's redone? It's cancelled. It's essentially cancelled. I don't see it coming point. out at this point. Mm, okay. It'd be uh, nice if it did. I think so. it will eventually. I think it will but happen. They're probably revamp it. It'll be far away. Literally 10 years time. Yeah. I reckon. The prop, so... Yeah, well. In terms of... Which one? The Riot Overwatch one? The Riot one. The Riot. It's fine. We've waited yeah. 10 years for... The thing with the Riot one is it was kind of obvious it was getting cancelled probably a year ago. And then whenever the layoff happened, it was double confirmed it was being cancelled. Because whenever Ghostcrawler left, he had to make his own company. He basically took... Wait, did he leave to make his own company? Well, so what happened was I believe it was his mom or someone died yeah. uh, during COVID. And because they're all working at home he kind of went i want to go spend time with my family and see my family because most of them were old at that point so he was like i'm going to go move back to i think it was texas yeah and he was like i'm going to do my own thing instead of just working for other companies and then a lot of the senior people on the right mmo left with him uh to for form this company so a lot of what was the staff that was meant to carry the mmo went and then the layoffs came about. At this point, the MMO was going to be like four years in development, which at that point means you should have a playable version available. And you would realistically be starting to put in like story elements and stuff. And then they just fired most of their writing team. Mm -hmm. And I was like, if you're that late into the MMO and you just <coughs> fired your writing team, several of which was like their big hitters for their writing yeah. team, you don't have enough team to make an MMO. Do you have a question? No, I just like, I'm straight. <laughs> I'm just doing this. <laughs> I like to move my hands. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, just don't, I don't actually have anything to say. Just want to imitate Matt. Yeah, because you were saying before that it was the for league story anyway. They fired the person who wrote Shurima. Um, what else did he write? He basically anything related to Shurima. So like the Shurima, the Dark, and yeah. the Void, the Ishtals, everything's just gone. He all wrote a boatload of stuff. He wrote mm -hmm. what is their Huge most amount. iconic lore in recent years, and the most literally one of the thing so many people are excited about when it comes to new characters is the dark and stuff, and it's all gone, which is wild. I didn't help as well as the last one they released was not well received. What in the theory? Yeah, people oh, didn't cool. like it, but it was dagger falls into dog, dog it, dagger. <laughs> It could have been cooler. The problem was is that the skin for Nefir was kind of shit. It's just a mm. dog with a collar, which is knives. Yeah, pretty much. It's like for what the dark, especially because they have so much dark and art out there and it looks fucking sick and some of them look terrible. they showed a lot of them in Rune Terror, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, well, that's it. LOR, then, just the art's so good though. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. But then we got the League Champion and it just looked really basic and yeah. considering all the other Dark and Champions in League look really cool, it was kind of a letdown to a lot of people. It's kind of mad, isn't it? Yeah. It's the same way Belveth didn't land with people who like Void. Yeah. Because it's just a giant stingray. Whenever you have so much Void art of like, and especially with like Cho'Gath and Cog'Maw and stuff, you're very distinct. And uh, she's just woman who she, turns she, into stingray. She's a stingray, basically. There's, people just like more humanoid characters than that's mm -hmm. it. Animal characters in League. I don't know. I like. Well, that, that's that's the thing. Humanoid yeah, stuff typically sells well better. The majority yeah. like yeah. prefer. Yeah. I, I mean, I prefer the humanoid characters as well. Like, I'm all about the League pretty boys myself. Like, you know, Viego is top tier. Yeah. If you want to get bummed by Viego. Yeah. Varus. What is there anything wrong? Varus is cool. No. No. You can be allowed Barris to go. used to be one of my favorites back when I used to. And now it's You're, three dudes in one. You know who used to be one of my favorites? Set. And then Ian Watkins mm. did his stuff. Yeah. And now I'm not looking the same way. Yeah, literally. Yeah. 
Okay, ruined set for me. I he still compared like him, him but to a dirty, dirty, horrible like criminal, and now I can't see him. It just looks like him because <laughs> of his hair. Yeah, yeah. And now I can't look at her the same well, way. That's just base skin, right? Yeah. yeah. If you get heart steel, you're fine. Nah, I got I got the dragon lord. Oh, the dragon one. Yeah, I cool. got the mech, I and mean, I like the. I mech. got the mech as well. That's yeah. cool. Mech, mech, cool. mech makes me happy. As long as you don't have the base skin, you're fine. Yeah, it still feels weird though. No. <laughs> I didn't like the heart steel one for him. Who have I got the heart steel one for? Kane. Kane. Right? Kane. Yeah, yeah I, can't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't say what I dirty think. Dirty criminal, you are. Yeah, he's I mean, no, looks Kane's, sick when Kane's going a dirty like criminal. The, the, the he is a dirty like, criminal, yeah. yeah. The skin does not look great on him whenever he looks like someone in Korea. He looks gone. like an offender. He yes, really he does. does. <laughs> it's horrendous. He looks like the, type. Like the red, red Kane looks sick. He looks like if you walked into a club, you would cover your drink. That's how I would describe that skin. Out of all the heart steel members, who'd you smash? I don't even know what they look like. I'm, I'm gonna be to honest think with what they look like. Dale, got an answer? Is it Aphelios? I'm gonna look. Is it Yone? I still Ooh. find it funny. Why did they put I still so find many it funny toxic they made characters all those in skins <laughs> And they, they shooed them all off, and then they had the one for Aphelios. But then he sh they had Aphelios' sister in that one, yeah, and she had the best fucking skin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, why the fuck have you done this? <laughs> She had the best skin of all of them, and she's not even a skin. No, heart steel, not heart stone. Uh, yeah, it's probably a Felio, so... Mm -hmm. Ezreal. Ezreal. Ez? A Felio's or Kane. Like, I like Kane. I do I like, like the him. green hair. Let's smash Kane. As much annoying as he is. I like I like that Cassandra's in it, but I just... I don't think you'd have a choice of Kane's I don't think he's problem. there at all. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you were, you literally so went sorry. i can't oh make lady. these jokes and then you say them proceeds to make more <laughs> no i just didn't call him what i thought he was that's the difference that's fair all right i go off kasane fuck why not after matt has decided to, <laughs> to just blow the stream apart. yeah hold on we're gonna just we're gonna to just scoop you up a yeah exactly he looks like he'd be a nice lover <laughs> after breaking your back but still <laughs> we've got three choices oh my lord so either uh, would I be the asshole for exposing the truth about my stepmom to my dad's family? Am I the asshole for driving off and not waiting for my girlfriend? Or am I the asshole for not inviting my ex-best friend to my wedding, even though I was the maid of honor at hers? Which of the three do girlfriend we want? I think the second one, yeah. The, the second one. The girlfriend one's always funny. Spicy. It's always some random shit in there. It completely changes mm -hmm. the story. Uh, Okie dokie. Artichokey. Um, am I? It. No. Huh? No. Mm -mm. Get my three. We'll be we sat here for an hour <laughs> trying to get through the fucking story. There's... Oh, it's quite wordy. All right, I'll read a few, man. If you Thanks, want. Thanks, I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. If we if we read it, yeah. Okay. Read it. it. I was gonna say read a different one, but I stopped yeah. myself. Uh, am I the asshole for leaving my girlfriend because I didn't want to wait for her anymore? Here is a short story. Me, 25 male, and my girlfriend, 22, were supposed to meet up to make dinner. I thought that said dinosaurs. And watch a movie at my place. I was stuck at school and told her, I'll be done. I just said toad. Uh, I'll be done by 17. Five. Oh, so five o'clock. Mm -hmm. She asked me if I could pick her up when I was done, which I agreed to. A little after five, I drove to get her. When I arrived, I let her know by both text and by trying to call her. She didn't answer any of them. I then continued to wait for 20 plus minutes. She didn't come out, and I knew she had seen my message, so I just drove home. While driving home, she sent me a text telling me she was in a discussion with her friend and couldn't leave. She then asked me if I now could come get her again, now that she was done. I obliged and drove back there. Then the same thing happened again, and I ended up waiting at least 20 more minutes until I said fuck it and drove home to make dinner alone. Now, over two hours since we originally were supposed to make dinner, later she sent me a text asking if I was irritated and mad at her, which I answered a clear year to. Now she is mad at me for being insensitive and for saying I got irritated by waiting that long. Sorry for the long story. So am I the asshole here? And just to clarify, the discussion turned out to be nothing serious. But wait, update. After she went on a full rant over messages, I chose not to answer and pretty much ghost her. My point of view was that if she can't understand how disrespectful she was, then this relationship wouldn't work. Since then, she has tried to call me a couple of times and I answered one of them, where I calmly explained to her my point of view and I asked her point blank if she could elaborate on why I am in the wrong here, which she couldn't. After that point, I just said that I need less stress in my life, not more, and have ghosted her since. This was approximately two hours ago. 
Hmm. Some of you have asked about how long we have been together, etc. I don't want to go into full detail, but the relationship is somewhat new and we have been dating. We haven't been dating for more than six months. Thank you for all the comments and advice. I've always been taught to be respectful of women, especially those I date. And I try to be, but it looks like that value was used. I will try to book every next time and make sure not to get beyond a dumbass. Comment did the update as well, so those of you that have perspective, blah, 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 blah. So what do we yada, think? Yada. Um, I think it would be really frustrating for him to be waiting for that long, um, yeah, especially twice. I can absolutely see it's frustrating. I'd be well, frustrated. I, would, I would pull my fucking hair out at that. I what hair? Five thanks. <laughs> I'd be frustrated and like it's just, you know, you're not gonna like. There's no apology or anything there. Mm -hmm. Like I, oh, you know, I was doing something else. Like there was no understanding of why he was frustrated. It was just. I just don't understand how she'd done that twice. I think it's the it's fact. It's wild, isn't it? It's yeah. the fact she knew why he drove off, <laughs> yeah. and then he came back. And then She's done like, I'm trying to again. keep the conversation going. I was like. At that point, you obviously don't give a shit about another mm -hmm. person's time. When he said he was driving off originally, I was like, just go fucking knock the door. Yeah, but it seems like she knew he was there. I know, but I'm going to be honest. Yeah. If, say, for instance, I was picking up Dale and I text him being like, I'm outside and then 20 minutes had gone by, I'm like, I'm either going to call him or I'm going to go knock his door or just walk, just walk in, in and mm -hmm. be like, what the fuck Doors is taking it. so long? Like, <laughs> huh? what's going on? Yeah, I'd go and check myself instead of just going, fuck him, I'm going home. I feel it's a bit weird to do. Yeah. And I kind of feel like it's even weirder that he went home well, and she went, yeah, come get me now. And then he came back because I'm like, would you not have spoken about the initial thing a bit it, more it's, first? It sounds like he did because he knew she yeah, was talking. Yeah, I don't talking. think it said that. Yeah. Hmm? I don't think it said that, that's all. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. she's just It seems like because he, he knew she was talking to someone, yeah. which means he must have at least... Um, he said, while driving home, she sent me a text telling me she was in a discussion and couldn't leave. She didn't come out. I knew she had seen my message, so I just drove home. So, yeah. she, so she didn't respond to the fact he tried to like go, where are you? Yeah, well, he messaged her saying, oh, uh, one hour, I let her know by text. I'm trying to call her. She didn't answer any of them. So we tried to call initially and then waited 20 minutes and then went. And text her as well. Yeah, but that was the initial text. But she hasn't responded to anything. Yeah, you should have knocked the door without a doubt. Yeah. It's just, like, it feels a bit strange. I, I, I can't, if it was me, I would have... I'm, I'm a little petty. I would have kind of just drove home and just been like, I'm fucking done for the night. Like, I've wasted time. I'm just going to do my own thing. Unless it was something really serious. I mean... So, it, like, with the... In terms of, like, I'm... I'm with the... I'm, I guess I'm playing devil's advocate, but... If there was a really serious conversation, then I'd be like, okay, fair enough. I'll come back and get you. But then I would, I'd be banging at the door. I'd be doing all sorts. I'd be like, come on, what the fuck is going on? If we're doing something, we're doing something. <laughs> if we're not, we're not. It's... I think it would be ex like extra like impatient if he's going home to cook. He's probably hungry. Yeah. yeah. But like, so w what I'm trying to say is like, he, he can be understanding of why like she's yeah. taking 20 minutes she's taken that long yeah mm -hmm. and it sounds like he gets it she's talking to a friend mm -hmm. he's frustrated but for her to then come back and just be like i don't understand why you're like this it's well, very weird like, mm -hmm. it's you very need strange. to understand mm -hmm. what he's just been like you know what time he's just wasted as well mm -hmm. especially the fact so the frustration then he came back yeah, yeah definitely it's really it nice was. of him to have come back and done all that yeah like I mean, some people want to come back i'm not, yeah. not gonna lie i probably wouldn't have gone back I'd have been like, cool, done for the night trial. Yeah. Like, I'd be very tempted I, to do that. I, I can get very kind of like... Maybe she's a little bit spoiled. Yeah. A little spoiled. Yeah. It sounds that way. Mm. It feels she strange. Just, she just doesn't give a shit about the time he's wasting. Well, mm -hmm. he said he drove there, waited 20 minutes and drove home, and then drove back, waited 20 minutes and drove home. So that's at least an hour, if not yeah. longer, depending on the time of all of that. Especially the fact like he got back and she's like, I'm just going to keep going. Like, yeah, essentially. It's, mm -hmm. it's fine. Especially after like figuring out that he was annoyed that she was taking something mm -hmm. to begin with. Like I said, it's fine that she was in that situation that she felt like she couldn't get out of because she was trying to be there for a friend by the sounds of things. It's just the lack of understanding that follows her is the issue. Mm -hmm. The part it says now she's mad at me for being insensitive and saying I got irritated away that and I'm like, oh, what the fuck? Are you okay? Insensitive. It feels strange. Sam not respecting women's space. Um, how fucking dare you? 
if it was my if it was my girlfriend i'd respect uh i i'd expect both people to respect each well, other's time yeah. what if perhaps she was having a very serious conversation that carried on for 40 minutes yeah no the bus well, then that you would the lack that of understand that's yeah. fine mm -hmm. he's understanding of that he's you can still be frustrated but understanding yeah yeah and it sounds like he was willing to talk about it but her lack of understanding as to why he was frustrated yeah. mm -hmm. that he's like wasted 40 minutes plus more because he's mm -hmm. driven there and back mm -hmm. twice mm -hmm. like she doesn't seem to have an understanding of why he would be annoyed in this situation yeah which is just so strange. If I if I make somebody wait ten minutes for me, I'm apologizing. Like, so, let alone forty plus minutes. So if she said like, I don't understand why you're so frustrated. My friend really needed help. Yeah. Like, don't you understand how severe the situation was? <coughs> you really needed me there in that time. We can. I'm wait, sorry we, that you had to yeah. wait. The, yeah, but that's that's. The, the, I'm sorry that you had to wait. That that part. Yeah. You know? the, the apology. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. The thing we have to take with Reddit posts is that we're only seeing one side. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we're that might parts. have happened, and this yeah, guy yeah, could so also we be a dick as well. Kind yeah. of have to take his word as gospel at the moment. Yeah. And just kind of be like, okay, well, she said this. It seems out of the blue. It seems a little silly. Um. But yeah, what if it's a friend's apartment and you don't know which door? I mean, that's different. But with this story, it's but specifically most a girlfriend. apartments you walk into, the entrance, they give you the names and the doorbell. Uh, it depends. No, no, mine there are places no? to do it. No, does mine. So oh. if you come into my house, you don't fucking know. What the fuck? I still know. Um, she was in a discussion with her friend and couldn't leave. Oh, it did say it wasn't that important? Yeah. It doesn't say that. It says, yeah. while driving home, she sent me a text telling me she was in a discussion with her friend and couldn't leave. So I, you could say, it, I, if that I could, read that... That could mean anything. Yeah. That could really if mean I read anything. that, I think if they can't leave, it's an important discussion. Yeah, yeah you assume. It more important. sounded like she couldn't leave because it her friend wouldn't update, shut the fuck up. Yeah. That's uh, the impression that goes. Yeah. Oh, I, like, if they said they couldn't leave, it sounds like the friend needed them at that point in time. Maybe, yeah. And like, I could be understanding uh, that, mm -hmm. but I can be equally as frustrated, you know? Yeah, yeah of I've course. wasted time. But it's like if, if she's had the effort to text and say, oh, I couldn't leave, she could have at least said, oh, yeah, I can't leave because of... Like mm -hmm. something's happened, or at least give it. But then he would leave it out just to be more favorable to Reddit. Yeah, but the, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, this is always written to mm -hmm. seem like the favorable person, right? Mm -hmm. You're not writing these for people to hate you. Yeah, you're not gonna no. have an impartial thread. It will be yeah. Yeah. always biased. Yeah. 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 Uh, but why wouldn't you make it like as authentic just to see, like, am I wrong? Is she right? Because not everyone has that. Um, People just want to be validated. In the update? Well, the, this is probably well, like. They just want validation. This is probably the genuine yeah. belief of the person that wrote it down, yeah? Yeah. Like, this is how they saw it mm -hmm. happen and, like, play out to them. Because mm -hmm. they, they're the one feeling hard done by. Yeah. When you're experiencing it, the, yeah. the rationality of it all is hard to see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, if it was me, I would want to see what the truth is because I want to know if I'm crazy. It'd be really interesting to see, like, an, am I the asshole? Where put people from both sides yeah. write their piece. Yeah. And oh. then you put them side by side. That would be, be really cool, fun. Like, a lot that would of be really times fun. people <laughs> a lot of people times people post these types of things because they just want validation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all oh, of course yeah, they yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I I don't I don't understand why she just doesn't pick up her phone in between the conversation to type something. Yeah, I mean, if she some, can say, "Oh, I had." I mean, some people yeah. would be like, "Oh, you picked up your phone. That's a bit disrespectful." Yeah, like while I'm talking to you. Yeah, don't look at your phone. I'd want to slap them. Yeah, so I was like, I just like, even if like, something is serious, yeah. you could yeah. be like, "Oh, I had plans. Let me just let them yeah. know." Yeah, yeah. Let's give me a few seconds a to reply to my partner yeah, so you, that you, that he knows that I'm talking to you. Give me a second to make a phone call so I can just be like, "Oh, look, they really need me right now." Like. You know, can I let you know when I'm available and we'll do there, th this then? There's a weird kind Sounds of thing like where people constantly <laughs> assume what another person's uh, actions mean. So say, for instance, if you are in a serious discussion and the other person looks at the phone, it could literally be a th for a thousand reasons. Yeah. People yeah. automatically go to, they're being disrespectful because they don't want to mm -hmm. be here and they're not paying attention. Mm -hmm. But it's like, literally could be anything, as Dale and Matt said. And I think people just need to fucking give it the other person the benefit of the doubt a little bit more because it's a bit kind of fucking crazy isn't it yeah. like how fast people jump to these conclusions although i guess that's what emotions do for you yeah. so. but that's why that's <laughs> why i'm saying like communication yeah. in this if yeah. they communicate to the friend i had plans mm -hmm. let me just sort this out and we'll continue yeah mm -hmm. and then she communicated with the boyfriend hey this is happening and i really need to be here right now let's rearrange this or like i will call you when i'm available and then we'll do this everybody would be everybody would be in the know if and they like, 
if they said that to me, I'd give them a good thumbs up and I'd be like, yeah, all right, cool, on, we'll on his head. Fuck, I'm going to do something yeah, else. Yeah, just be like, oh, yeah. let me know when you mm-hmm. get picked up. I'll like, go lose yeah, the yeah, TFT yeah, and come back. Because he nice... could have been like, yeah, okay, I'll go home. I'll mm-hmm. come back when you tell me you're ready. I yeah. won't just rock up 20 minutes later and you're still not ready and then be yeah. pissed off because you're not ready, even though you didn't tell me you were ready. Mm-hmm. But like, I'm under the assumption that you're ready from the get go. So uh-huh. it's, it's the difficulty is there's no communication there. Fuck, that's wild, isn't it? It's funny as well that we had so much to say earlier about random I just, information, is... and then we get to this bit, which is social stuff, and he's like, "Can't give a shit." <laughs> well, the thing is, like, I'm what's like a relationship, <laughs> like in social stuff, scary. <laughs> but it's one of those things where it's like I'm like I'm in this shit about time. If someone's wasted, you know, I want to fucking strangle them. Yeah. So it's like in this situation, I'm gonna think she's the asshole anyway, because that's just because I'm like. If I say oh, I'm doing something at seven, and it's like half seven, I'm like, where the fuck? You are, are you? very anal for your time, and yeah, yeah, yeah. But some it's just people like, are just very anal yeah. for their time. Do you want to be anal with me? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and with that, we're gonna <laughs> end the podcast. <laughs> we're gonna go do <laughs> anal. <laughs> There's something that Matt wants. Uh, that is thank something you. that Sam is gonna give him. We are. Uh, we do have plans after the podcast. We yeah. are. Um, our plan afterwards is normally when it comes to these days, we will be um, <laughs> we'll be uh, we play co-op games together on stream and on um, I, mean, I was trying thing. to get it so Stan couldn't keep We play co-op it. games <laughs> on <laughs> Monday. Like, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Wait, shut up a sec. No. <laughs> <laughs> we play Sorry, co-op so. games on Monday together, uh, usually before or after the podcast. And today we're planning to do it after this. So what we're going to be doing is um, on Twitch with the SR channel, we're going to be playing a board game, which is a board game Dale bought it's called Here game. to Slay, which uh, we'll be setting up shortly after we finish this podcast. Yeah, and then we'll be, uh, up camera-wise, so. we'll be giving a go and... Uh, I think kind I'd of, say give us at least half an hour for setup. Yeah. Um, explaining through all the rules and everything, and then we're going to be going. We're going to be using a new stand that we haven't used before. And we're giving it a we're gonna gonna try that out. Stand. I'll go Exciting for... Um, times. <laughs> Stan's going to join. Probably give a... a have a game or two of it, and then, uh, yeah, see where the night takes us. Stan's just going to stand over the table. Into it, like. <laughs> so Stan, you over to me. Like everybody, um, with... <laughs> Stan, I'll go kidnap you and bring you back. <laughs> Uh, thank you for joining us everybody uh, our guests have been Dale shut your cans there <laughs> <laughs> you go Josh Ebbs <laughs> myself Matt doesn't get one nah, joke here. Um, our special guest Matthew Liquid Death. <laughs> thank you very much for watching everybody thank you for tuning in I appreciate we it probably, are we doing it on YouTube I see you guys no. later on have a good Twitch. night